In previous examples, we've looked at variable scope and using static variables in order to remember the value when a function exits. However, there is another way, but it is not recommended, and that is global variables. To define a global variable in C++ is pretty easy. All we need to do is define the variable outside of a function, as we've done here. Now, x can be used inside of any function. Here we've used it to modify a value inside of variable tester, our function. And I'm going to use a CL statement just to display what the initial value is inside of our main function. I'm going to print one here, as well as at the end of variable tester. Now, a rule with a global variable is that we do need to use the exact variable name. So let's see an example of this application running real quick. When we start, you notice our global variables value is zero. It is modified inside of our variable tester function, and it retains its value the same way it did when we use a static keyword. However, we can see the value of our global variable at the end of our program as well. So people might ask, well, why not just use global variables? Well, there's two potential issues that we can run into with this. And let's take a quick look at them. The first is some confusion, especially as I get to a large application with lots of functions, I may not always know what function is being called and used to modify a global variable. So trying to keep track of that is going to become much more difficult and increasingly difficult as I add new functions. Another example is if I define a variable here inside of my function, int x equals 12 as an example. Should I use x, the global variable, or x, the local variable? Well, that would seem to be pretty obvious. I should use my local variable, and you are correct. However, debugging can be a challenge if someone misses the fact on that one line that you had defined a local variable. If we run this application, because x is defined every time inside our function, its value is never updated. And therefore, our global variable doesn't update either. And so this could cause confusion if people are expecting a global variable and not getting it. So global variables are usually not a good idea to use. But I would like to offer one example where they are helpful. And that is if I need to define a constant. So we've defined constants inside of functions before. However, we've not done a global level. Defining a constant to be used at a global level actually makes a lot of sense because A, every time the function is called, we don't have to recreate that constant value. B, it's not going to change because it's constant. Therefore, we don't have to worry about some unknown function making the change. And C, we are guaranteed that we're going to get the same value across all of our functions, not just in that one particular function. So, for example, I'm going to do const double pi equals, and I might have one developer who creates one function, and if the constant was inside that function, they might have defined it as 3.14, where another developer might use more decimal places for a more accurate result. So by having a constant value like this, where I can always use the same value across all of my functions, I not only improve my performance, I improve my consistency and hopefully my accuracy by using that global constant. And that's the one example where we would want to use a global variable because it's actually not varying, it's a constant.